Hello, welcome. Friends, in this video, we are going to learn about assign. With the help of assign action, we can create variables and we can update the value of variables. That variable we can consider as a local variable as we have separate variable as a global variable. So assign action is going to use to create a new variable in Oracle integration. Also, it is going to use to it is going to use to update the variable values in Oracle integration. So let's begin. So here you can see this is our basic integration where I added as a rest endpoint as a trigger. In the rest endpoint, I added as a request and response payload. You can see the request and the response payload I have configured. And what this integration is going to do is that in integration as a request payload, we are getting two values, pval1 and pval2. And based on these two values, we are going to return some of the two number in a response. So you can see this is the sample response. So in response, we are going to return the result of some of the two number. So that kind of operation we are going to perform. So here, if you will see what we have to do, is we have two values in this endpoint and we have to return back some of these two values using the mapper. For first, what we will do, we will create one variable. That variable will store these two values and then we create another variable. That variable will store the value result of that two number. So let's let's begin for creating variables. We have to come here, use a sign. So I will drag a sign here. In the assign, I have to create variable, right? So first I will give the name of this endpoint. So I will give name as create create result var assign. I will give the name as that. And once this created, now I have to create variables. For creating variables, I have to click here. So here you can see right now the name by default name is coming as 10 underscore 1. So I have to remove this name and I want to provide the name. So I will provide name as where underscore result. And so this is the variable we created and default variable we have to provide any values. So hey, right now you can see that we have empty values, right? So now, now it's done. So once I will click here, you can see the in the you in the assign variable is in this endpoint. We created one variable with the name of where result. Now what we have to do is that with the help of this endpoint we added the created the variable. Now we have to add the result sum of this two value coming in the request payload and store in third variable. A store in this variable only. For updating the variables value again we will use the assign. So here I what I will do I will drag this value here. Even we can we can use a single assign only for creating and providing the value. But I used here so that you can understand that the how we are going to update the value variable created variable so i will give the name as update result assign why i am giving assign in last so as this assign will identify as a, this is the assign activated right and once i have given the name i have to click on the plus here if i want i will create a new variable and if i will remove i will get a chance to select our previous variable so here you can see once I deleted here, once I click here, you can see we have these two variables. These two are default coming for the tracking variable. And this is the variable where result we created in the previous step. So I will select this variable. And what kind of value I want to store in this variable? I want to store the sum of the two values. The in request wrapper, once you will expand, you can see these two value, pval1 and the pval2. I want to add these two value as a sum and store in this result. So what I will do, I will drag this here and i will use plus so for editing what i need to do is that first i need to remove and here i need to click on the, the developer views so now here you can see i will remove so i will drag this one plus this two so what it will do it will it will make as a value one plus value two you can see once we added here you can see where result is equals to p val one plus p val two now it's done this is our is requirement so once i will click here you can see with the help of that first assign we added in our integration, this assign will create one variable and with the help of the another assign action, the variable whatever we created in that variable, we are updating the value, the sum of the two value we are coming, we are getting in the request payloads. So now in this step, we have the sum of the two number. Now we have to map this sum of two number in the response. So this is response mapper. I will click here and in one in response mapper, if you will see, this is the result result we added and here what we have to map in the result we have to map the val result variable 
so i just map here now it's validated once this validated we can go back and here you can see everything is fine so this is our simple integration where i added and rest endpoint to get two values from user as a request payload the two value i have configured as a pval1 and pval2 as a request payload in this two value we created one variable and this variable here in this variable we updated the value with the help of this second assign operation assign activity so this assign activity is going to store the value of the p1 p value 1 plus p value 2 inside this var result once this is done here we have added the mapping so that whatever result we have we can return back as a response so let me save this integration once it's saved we can go back and here you can see right now it's in giraffe status it means there is some error in our integration so here you can see whenever we are creating a integration the first mandatory part is to provide the business identifier or we can say the tracking variables so by clicking here we can add the tracking variable so at least one tracking variable is required so i will give this value as tracking variable save and now done so here you can see the status is in configured now i will go back and we will activate the integration i will activate this integration in debug mode so can i can see the log messages right that will be easy for us to identify and that the make a uh, debugging process so that we can easily identify and check that where is what kind of values where it, it's traveling right so now here you can see this is our integration and this is the body in body you can see this is the request payload here we have to provide the values so in pval1 i will provide 10 and in pval2 we will provide 20 once i will submit it will return back as a sum of this two number here you can see this result so how this 30 is we are getting as a response so if you will see the log messages the first here you can see write message received by trigger start rest this is the rest endpoint we added if you will see the rest endpoint this rest endpoint contain this two value what are the value we are passing from the request payload right and this all are the header details whatever we have for the endpoint and after that if you see message start processing here this is the basic details we are getting as pval1 pval2 as 10 and 20 and this is the basic details of the integration that the method we selected post this is our u integration url and all these things right and after that if you will see here we we use that the create result var assign in this assign we created variable and assign the null value so once you will expand here you can see the variable var result was assigned with null value the single quotes right and after that we again added assign operation that update result assign in this in this assign operation what we have done we have provided the sum of the two number so you can see the var result was assigned with 30 that is the value of 10 plus 20 and now in last we added the mapping so in mapping we added the value as a we added the result as the variable that the 30 and this 30 is we are getting in the response so this is the basic integration where we use assign operation that assign operation is going to use to create variables and the same assign operation is going to use for updating the value of that variables Thank you so much for watching if you have any other queries you can make a comment on that thank you so much again